Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the previous episode we had a somewhat hectic encounter with a legendary Pokemon. I'm not going to say his name because he know what he did. <clears throat> but today we're going to hopefully track down one that's a little bit easier to find. A couple of people were confused like why didn't you do that one first? It's so easy to you know, get to and beat and yada yada yada. And I was like man I don't even know where he was. But now I do. So we're going to go to Route 120, and you may see that distant island. That is a mirage spot. We'll talk about that more when it's a little bit more relevant. But for the time being, just keep in the back of your mind. We'll be back to that. Rest assured. Or is it rest assured? I don't I don't know the, the term for that. No, I want another Max Revive. Actually, no. <laughs> yes, I would love more Max Revives, but no. Isn't that a Kecleon? Pretty sure it is. <laughs> I guess we'll take care of him one day. But that day is not today. And oh boy, a nest ball! Just what I always have wanted. But no, the only thing you need to enter this next area is Surf. And because we got awkward, we'll always have Surf. Anyways, come over here to find something very, very cool. The Scorched Slab. Ooh, and also TM-11. Sunny day. Just free. Free of charge, why not? Now this cave is very, very small, which isn't always a bad thing. I like this. This is what I think the right amount of content you should put into this kind of event. And these standard affair Pokemon can be found here, despite it being called the Scorch Slab. You think there'd be maybe a couple more fire type Pokemon? I don't know, you know. Either way, though, full heal. There's, I think, Zubats and stuff right around. Let's actually check. The Pokenav Plus, we can find out. And now it looks. Literally just like a bunch of Zubats. Isn't that something? But oh, something that isn't a Zubat. Ha <laughs> yeah! It's Flannery. It might be impossible. Uh, what? <laughs> For you to get pumped? Uh, I don't really know what's going on here. What? Don't scare me like that. You scared the living daylights out of me. Anyway, by any chance, did you come here to look for rare Pokemon? No, I came here looking for you, Flannery. I'm just getting angles. Say yes, Flannery. That's why we're here. As you may have heard, this cave has long been rumored to be the place where a rare fire Pokemon lives. That's why I came here. But, I guess I was a bit ill-prepared. I was just thinking about going back to Lava Ridge and coming back later. So I'm leaving now. But if you go further, please be careful. <gasps> She's looking out for me. I'm just kidding. So, Flannery uh, pretty much confirms our assumption now there in fact is a rare Pokemon to capture here. And oh my gosh, Megastone, Megastone, Megastone! Which one's it gonna be? Charizard I Y. Nice. Pretty cool pickup. Not gonna complain about that. You and I already have one. Maybe I can trade somebody or something for X. I still don't have X, man. It's <laughs> never got it. Either way, though, it's so hot that you can't stop sweating. Nearly breathing is difficult. Whoa. That means. Yes, there's in fact another Pokemon for us to capture, which means another save must be created. Mm. And let's put our hand inside the hole and see where we go. Well, we know where we're gonna go, but we don't know what we're getting into necessarily. It's E Train. Hey! He's E Train. He's a super rare Pokemon. Some say he's not a legendary, but in my books, I consider this guy truly, truly a legend. Hmm. We're going to Mega Evolve here because we don't want our Psychic Attack to actually do that much damage. Because that'd be bad. And hopefully he will actually live. Heatran does have okay defenses. And whoa! Oh yeah, he actually resists that. That's pretty good. He's going to try and hit us with a Lava Plume attack. And oh no, the burn! That sucks. Uh, really bad, actually. So what we're going to try and do is we're just going to try and put him to sleep with Hypnosis. And it missed again! Come on. I mean, I know they lowered Hypnosis' accuracy and all, but it seems like I always get just hit the wrong times. I don't know. It really bugs me. It truly does. Uh, let's try and recover the status on us. The full heal. That'd be a good idea. We don't want to take too much damage from Burn. And with the Burn, our physical attacks are going to be reduced. And watch him burn me again. Oh. My. Gosh, I just want to reset the game and cry, but no, we're not going to do that. And also, I'm not a full restore, so we're not going to do that, gosh dang it. We're going to go to awkward like a real man would, and show this Heatran who's boss. Alright. Yeah, we're going to take another lava poem to face, yeah we are. 
That's real cool, man. Even the three burns, three burns in a row, man. We're not talking about Will O Wisp here. That's 100%. Lava Plume is just a normal thing on attack. As doing that much, you know what? You gotta stop, man. You gotta stop. Actually, the burn could be beneficial in a way, because now we're not gonna really do all that much damage. And we might easily get a flinch. So that'd be cool. But we're taking a lot of damage. And that's not cool. So let's uh, really quickly, um, hmm. Actually, no, let's just try and get some rock slides going. That might actually work out better. If we could ever get a flinch, that'd be nice. Nope. No flinch arena. It's just metal sound. Gosh, yeah, I remember back in the day, Heatran, very menacing Pokemon. Very, he was very popular because, and the way the T. Are you, are you serious, Heatran? You don't want to join my team? You're gonna dodge my rocks, you're gonna dodge everything, dude? This is Okay, I've had enough. I've had enough! With this dumb Pokemon, what does Ornberry do? Ornberry sucks, only heals 10 health. Let's say better do. That sucks too, son of a gun. Alright. We are going to heal up, um, Toilet a lot. We're going to heal him up all the way. He's going to get full HP. And then, Awkward is unfortunately going to get KO'd. But he did more than his job. Awkward, you deserve a fantastic rest. That's what they always say in the anime. This ain't no anime. <clears throat> Alright. So next strategy here. Uh, we're going to have to tank an attack. We're just going to have to tank one blow. Because we need to get rid of this burn. That is our highest priority. We have one more full heal. Hopefully... Okay. No, no, no. I'm not going to repeat the same mistake. Here's what we're going to do. John, you learned. You're a learning human being. You can learn. We want to use the hypnosis on the Heatran. So he, after we get rid of the burn, he won't just burn us again. That is what we want to do. Yeah. But hypnosis has not been... The nicest thing to me. Okay, great. That's super duper. Mm. So now Heatran will be put to sleep, but his eyes do not close. A little bit on the odd side, but okay. I mean, I, mean, I know it's like a steel type and all. Maybe it's just has a steel outer shell and can't really close you know, that part, but it should do something, man. Either way, though. Maybe maybe it's like eyes dimmed a little bit. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking at my... Actually, I wasn't really looking at anything. Looking at my computer, and that was pretty much it. Let's try and go for another psychic attack again. Let's see if we can lower this guy's HP just a tiny bit. Nice. And I woke up again. You woke up again, guys. It burned me again, too. <laughs> if this next hypnosis doesn't hit, I might go. Okay, good. I was about to say, I was about to go into an insane asylum, and no one wants to see that because, honestly, that place ain't nice. I know Arkham Asylum made it look like a nice place, but it's not. It's not. I actually like Arkham City a lot. I was like really skeptical on picking up a Batman game because I played a lot of superhero games and wasn't particularly fond of a lot of them. But uh, I have no problems with any of the bat most recent Batman games coming from Rocksteady. And why are we talking about this in a Pokemon game? I don't know, man. I play a lot of video games. You all know this. Chances are, sometimes we're going to talk about some random crap. Gosh dang it. Please. Please, thank you. So I made... Actually, no, we can heal up, right? I'm going to do it. I'm going to... Okay, we don't have any way to get rid of burn. And that's really dumb. I should have heeded Blaine's advice and got some burn heal. Son of a gun, I was stubborn. He was like, no. I'm going to do it with the items I got so far. Because it's my own self-imposed stupid challenge. And Lava Bloom is probably going to do a ton of damage. I don't actually know it did none. I think that's based on how high HP he has, right? Or is that the other one? I don't really remember. <laughs> There's a move like that. I believe it's Eruption, isn't it? Yeah. I think. I don't know. Because Ky I know Kyogre has Water Spout, and that's how that works. It has to be at full HP. And No, it's like the more HP it has, the more damage it does. Correct? Yes. I do believe that's how that game mechanic works. <laughs> Ultra Ball coming out, so hopefully we can catch this thing. Another battle where the Pokemon is a very unfavorable type. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Very unfavorable type for Toilet to go up against, considering Fall Swipe is a normal type move. But we got him, boys! We got the Heatran. Heck yes. Yeah. <laughs> Heatran, the Lava Dome Pokemon. Weighs almost a thousand pounds, goodness! It dwells in volcanic caves. 
shapes. It digs in with its cross-shaped feet to crawl on ceilings and walls. So it kind of like cross around, cross around stuff. And I don't really want a nickname. I don't want a nickname yet, but I had the nickname thing because I'm a big dummy. Either way, though. That Pokemon has been captured, and I do not believe there's any special event to really do here other than catching him. There's a couple Pokemon I guess you can get, but yeah, I don't think we interact with Flannery at all. You can strength move that rock if you'd like, but I think I'll just take the long way. So that's the Scorch Slab, a very small area, but still very cool. Actually, this and then I get out of here. I wonder if there's any items I was missing. I don't think so. Either way, though. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby. And I pinky promise that in the next episode of this Let's Play, I will have better items and we will not have to keep constantly reviving toilet. <laughs> because the next legendary Pokemon we're going up against are a bit tricky to capture. Just, just a tiny little bit. Anyways, see you guys in the next part. Bye.